What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to focus on another defensive tip for Madden 25 next gen console uh, gaming here. And today's tip, we're going to focus on a blitz to complement the blitz we showed yesterday. So you can go down to my YouTube channel by clicking my little profile name at the bottom of the screen, and you can check out some of my other previously uh, done videos. You can check out my left side pressure blitz, some of my ways to beat man coverage, and different things like that. But today, we're going to show you a left side complement to our right side pressure blitz. So the one we showed you yesterday was the Mike Sam crash and today we're going to show you the will punch three seam now the will punch three seam does require a little bit more of a setup than the Mike Sam crash but we're going to go through this in a couple of different avenues to give you a little bit uh, more knowledge about the splits and different ways you can utilize it to still get some decent pressure while maintaining pretty decent coverage okay guys um, and also before we do that go ahead and check in the links below check my man 25 uh, Twitch live stream page out. You can check that out and uh, follow me on Twitch for live streaming Madden 25 gameplay. And then if you guys also uh, don't mind, check out some of my other YouTube uh, buddies down there: Z Boy, Ryan Dykes, uh, S Gibbs, and Z Falls. All those guys give great content related to Madden 25 gaming. All right. Let's hop into this tip. The Will Punch 3 seam out of the 4-3 and remember the Seattle Seahawks uh, defense playbook does have this play, but I recommend using the Oakland Raiders playbook because they have uh, they have plays like the cover 3 buzz and the mid blitz that I really like in this game. Okay, so let's hop into this play here real quick and we'll showcase this uh, blitz. So what you want to do, guys, with this blitz, we'll take a look at it stock. And you see the, the one problem here, we'll take a look at it in replay. play. And this is what you always want to do when you're labbing up a blitz. You want to run it a couple times, just standard, and then you want to see um, what happens in instant replay. And as we see in instant replay, the defensive tackle on the left side does not occupy that guard like we want him to. His slant, which to me that means his slant is a little bit too uh, significant. So we need to kind of adjust the slants of the linemen so that the the tackle will occupy that guard. Now my first idea here is I'm just going to re-blitz Williams and we'll see here uh, now that pressure loops around the edge. Now it doesn't come in 100% clean as you guys noticed. So we can always take something from, we can always go back and look at the replay and you know how of course NFL teams they look at the tape. You know in Madden you look at the replay to kind of see where you went wrong. Some different ways that you could do the play to make it a little bit more effective. And that time we see that slant, does, we want it to come through the B-gap because that's probably going to be the cleanest avenue because when it loops around, it doesn't, it doesn't quite get it as well. So now we're going to try to contain that defensive tackle. And there you see that blitz comes through, but then the guard slides over. So once again, there's it's all of that stuff. And this is what the process was when I was labbing this up. So now we're going to slant the line to the, left, to the right. And there you see the blitz comes through the B-gap a little bit there. And so... Everything we've tried to do to change the blitz angle has failed us. So now we're going to try to spy a guy. Some, as we saw in the Mike Sam crash video, that does a lot better. And there you see Irvin kind of gets in, but he, he kind of gets bottled up. And so we're going to continue on with this process. And now we're going to do, you know, just kind of repeat, rinse and repeat over and over again until we find the Krabby Patty formula that works. Um, so another thing we could do, you know, potentially if you're, when you're labbing up blitzes, you could spread the line. You could crash it to the right. Um, do two things instead of just one. And there you see Irvin starting to come in as well there. And uh, the problem I've noticed with the, this blitz is, is is just like I can't get my guy to come through the B-gap because of his blitz angle. So I could maybe try re-blitzing just the linebacker or something. Different things you want to do to find your blitz. But overall, this is what I came up with works the best. I, were, I, I said to um, just uh, spread your line and crash the line to the right side. That works best for me. Um, another setup that I really like out of this is just to maybe spread the line and contain that defensive tackle. And sometimes that works a little bit better than you just saw. But the way blitzing works in Madden 25 is you can't quite predict it 100%. You just have to kind of use your knowledge um, of what normally works to help you out. As you see, that's probably the most consistent is to just slant the line to the right. Okay, slant the line to the right, quarterback spy this guy, and flat zone Bryant. And that's going to be the most consistent. It's going to be passive pressure. It's not going to be, you know, like the Mike Sam crash where it came right through that B-gap. But it's not bad, you know, it, it, and especially if you're just trying to let, let him feel the pot, the pressure. And, and it really is a pretty decent blitz. You're only sending three guys at the quarterback. Um, 
not I mean not counting the quarterback spy, you know, we can put him in anything. You don't necessarily have to spy him. So there's a lot of setups that we went through to get to this, but what I want to go ahead and showcase to you guys as my favorite one is to spy the defensive tackle over the center and to put the defensive end on the right side into like a flat zone. And that does a really good job. It also does a really good job for uh, left side run defense. But the problem with it, again, is as we were saying before, there's one thing missing from this. And so we're going to have to go ahead and change those blitz angles. We're going to have to crash the line to the right before we do this. And now you see that blitz come around. See how it loops around like that? That's perfectly executed exactly how we want it to play out and, and it's easier uh, to do than some of the other blitz as we've talked about in the past and you see Irvin just puts that pressure on it makes the quarterback feel the pressure okay guys so I know it took a long time to get to the main point of the video I wanted to kind of go take you through my process of labbing up a blitz and, and showing you how it, how it works in practice mode um, and, and you could take this two game uh, two game I've tested the ball all these blitzes out um, will they work hundred percent no they won't especially if they're sliding their line or blocking a halfback, but 99% of the time if they don't slide line and block a halfback you will get a guy free using this blitzing setup. If you don't get a guy free you'll get some pressure, decent pressure better pressure than you would from a traditional rush Okay guys, I really want to appreciate uh, take this time to appreciate all the guys who came out and watched my videos and check out my live stream channel you guys mean the world to me. Hopefully this blitz will help you out. Tomorrow we're going to show you an A-gap pressure blitz to combine with your right side and left side pressure so that you can get now bring pressure right up the middle, right in the quarterback's face. Okay, guys, so thank you for your time today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've had any problems viewing the video or any malfunctions, please let me know, and I will deal with it as soon as possible. Thank you for your time today, guys. Have a great evening.